This local sports report is brought to you by Joe Romeo of Romeo Circle Realty. Contact Joe for all your real estate needs at 519-546-7979 or at RomeoCircle.com. It's a winner-take-all Game 6 in the minor midget playoffs. Waterloo and Brantford tied at five points each in the six-point series as they squared off at Rim Park on Tuesday night. Matt Anuska returning to the Wolves lineup after missing three games because of injury and some fireworks during the pregame warm-up. Anuska at center ice. Dylan Robinson has something to say on the way by. Chase Broda comes over and he exchanges words with McGuire Dewan. What a way to start game six. 23 seconds in, Brantford strikes. Dewan to Theron Hill and the 99ers have the lead. Hill making it one nothing Brantford early in the hockey game. Alex McLeod trying to spark the Wolves, levels his man. McLeod with a big hit, giving the Wolves some energy. And shortly after that, here's Nathan Dewar cutting across the middle, but he is denied by Diego Rocha. Nice save, and it stays one nothing Brantford. Still in the first, the puck comes back to the near point. It's a knuckleball from Benjamin Fijo fooling Anuska, the 99ers with a 2-0 lead after one. Second period, Zach McCann out of the penalty box, a steal, but he can't finish. The captain unable to convert, 2-0 Brantford going to the third. And the big crowd at Rim Park hoping for a comeback in the final frame. Midway through the third, it's a two-on-one for Brantford, but how about Matt Anuska? That's a huge stop, a game saver. It stays 2-0, and a few minutes later, here come the Wolves. Alex McLeod just hanging around in front, whacks it home. Don't look now, but we've got a one-goal game. It's 2-1. Then just over a minute later, Nathan Dewar circles the net centers. Mitch Lee, why don't you go ahead and tie the hockey game? Lee buries it. What a comeback from the Wolves. It's Bedlam at Rim Park. We're all tied at two. Later, it's Dewar breaking through, hauled down, and watch the referee. He thinks about a penalty shot, debates it, instead calls tripping. Brantford would kill off the two-minute penalty, and eventually, we need sudden death overtime. Here come the 99ers looking for the game winner. The rebound comes to Ellis Rickwood, and he is the hero. Game over, series over. The 99ers storm off the bench to celebrate. They win an absolute thriller, 3-2 in overtime. On the flip side, total heartbreak for the Waterloo players. They are eliminated from the Alliance Minor Midget Playoffs. The Waterloo fans giving their team a standing ovation after the game for a terrific season. But it's Brantford who is moving on. They will now face Cambridge in the second round. Here is Ellis Rickwood, the hero in Game 6 on Tuesday night. So happy, <laughs> just it's unexplainable. Just so happy. Yeah, I was just going down the ice, and uh, they hit the high guy who was driving the net. I was just in the right place at the right time, and I got it. When he scored, my emotions just I couldn't couldn't hold it in, so I started screaming, and I went down the other end, give him, uh, give the boys a big hug. It was such a hard-fought series. It was back to back, and that I thought the teams were fairly even. So obviously we were. So when we got down to overtime, there is great. We won that. I'm just extremely proud of the boys in that dressing room. I mean, we were down 2 nothing. 10 minutes left. I don't think there was anybody in the crowd that thought we'd come back, and we fought through it. We showed our heart. We came back, took it into overtime, and they got the lucky goal there. Good team, great team. Good luck to them going on, but we just got unlucky there. Well, that's exactly what I told the guys in our uh, post-game speech, how proud I was of them. That, uh, you know, I go up my players really hard, but they know I care and I'm passionate about them. And 
they never gave up, and, uh, and and that's what we're built on. We yes, we had our slow start, and we pushed our way into the playoffs, and we're one goal away from moving into the semifinals. So very proud of our guys. For more highlights, visit our website 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.